What's good, Fight Fans? It's Ashley's Corner. Um, Earl Spence Jr. and Lamont Peterson's first press conference was held today in Brooklyn. Both fighters um, gave each other um, a lot of respect. And both of the fighters are giving the fans what they want to see on uh, January 20th. It will be held on Showtime. The fight will be held on Showtime. And... Um, Fight Hub TV has the uh, the whole entire um, press conference uh, press conference video, and um, I'm gonna leave a link to that video to that press conference video in the description. Um, it was it was real talk. It was real talk. No 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 bullshit. It was just like I said. Both fighters was uh, showing um, each other a lot of a lot of respect, a lot of gratitude for taking the fight, and. Um, they're actually friends with each other. They, uh, I'm not going to say they, they talk all the time, but you can tell during this press conference they, they've known each other for quite a while now. And um, they both have respect for each other. They both are friends with each other. And um, it doesn't matter. This is boxing. This is a sport. They're here to compete, and they're going to fight each other, friends or no friends. Uh, both of them expressed that they can be friends and talking before the fight in the uh, locker room, but when they get into the ring, it's going to be, you know, a fight, a real serious, hard fight. And um, Spence said he sparred Lamont Peterson back in 2011 when he was uh, when he was an amateur. He said he was um, he he used to study Lamont Peterson, and he said he learned from from Lamont Peterson, and said Lamont can can push him to be a even to be at an even greater level, and he feels like um, that Lamont is a better fighter than um, Cal Brook, and he he thinks that um, he has more heart than Cal Brook, and says that he is not is not looking past Lamar Peterson. He knows what he can do. Of course, they um he's been around him, he's watched him. He's there's they they have sparred each other and they're friends. So I'm more than sure he does know what um Lamont is capable of and he knows that um this is a dangerous fight. He knows that Lamont Peterson is a dangerous man and he considers him to want to be to uh be one of the top 5 at at, at welterweight and um he's he's definitely not not looking past this fight he wants to be unified he wants to be the undisputed champion he wants to fight and beat Kell Brook he wants to fight and beat all the champions and to do that he knows that he cannot take an L because he might not get a chance to fight any of those people if he do lose to Lamont Peterson Lamont Peterson at the press conference said that all fights are the same to him. That's how he looks at it. And he and he fights fighters that's been ducked um, because that's what the fans deserve. And uh, he feels as, as a top-tier fighter, you are obligated to take what comes on the table regardless of who it is. Says he knew six years ago that Earl Spence Jr. was going to get to this point. He knew he was going to be a champion, and they were going to fight. Basically, like he knew it. He knew it since 2011, and he says that um, he believes Earl Smith Jr. is the next star in the sport. But he's not worried about that. Um, he's focused on executing uh, the strategy that him and his team has has uh, prepared for him on this fight against um, Earl Spence Jr. And um, he wants to see. Who is best? That is another reason on why he's going to fight his friend that nobody else wants to fight. His friend that everybody is ducking. He's going to fight Earl Spence to see who's best. And he believes in himself and um, and his uh, ability to win the fight. Honestly, first of all, let me say that this is going to be a great fight. <laughs> Um, it's going to be a better fight than um, Earl Spence and uh, Kell Brook. You're going to see a better Earl Spence Jr. Um, on the 20th of January against Lamar Peterson than you've seen in um, London against Kell Brook. You're going to see a better Earl Spence Jr. Um, to me, Kell Brook, the Kell Brook fight 
wasn't uh, what to me like I've said it like that's one of his worst fights I've ever seen him fight and he still beat him you know um Cal Brook as far as you know the other welterweights this is somebody that people were ducking also like nobody really wanted to fight Cal Brook after he won that title and it seemed like when when Sean Porter was talking about Cal Brook after he lost that title he was it basically sound like he didn't really want to fight him but it was his mandatory and he had to fight you know what I'm saying? But if it wasn't his mandatory, I think Sean Porter would have ducked him. Like, he didn't want to fight Kell Brook. And it was a good fight. It was a good fight. But he didn't win. He lost his strap um, to, to Kell Brook. And um, Earl Spence, when he fought Kell Brook, he had jet lag, if you ask me. He wasn't in the, in the ring as much as he was supposed to be because, I mean, he was fighting out of the country. And, you know, it's so hard to... Um, it's hard to to be 100 when you're fighting in another country if you're really not used to it. And this was his first time. Well, I don't know if it's his first time fighting out of the country, but as far as a professional fight, and um, I don't really recall him in any of his fights fighting out of the country. This is, so it was like the first time he fought out of the country, and it was for a, a, the IBF title, and it was against Cal Brook, which everybody said was the, was the bigger fighter. And he won. And I mean, people. Uh, some people want to say he didn't win. He didn't win. He he won the fight. Cal Brook didn't want to fight no more. He only had a round and some change to go, and he couldn't pull it out. He dropped to a knee and he quit in front of his hometown, his his home country, and all of the fans that was there. So I mean, he definitely won. He definitely beat him. And he made a big statement that night. Now, uh, Barry Hunter, which is uh, Lamont, Lamont Peterson's trainer, said, um, and I quote, he said, you have af athletes that can fight and athletes who are fighters. Earl Spence Jr. and Lamont Peterson are both, end of quote. I totally agree with that. Hands down, totally agree with what he's saying. And that's why we are going to see Lamont fight Spence. Not Garcia, not Peters, not Porter, and not Keith Thurman. They are just athletes that can fight. Okay? They are not fighters. They are not dogs. They are not lions in the sport. They don't want to be great. They don't want to be undisputed champions. That's why we are getting to see this great, awesome fight in the beginning of next year to kick off 2018, January 20th. Um, I'm going to call it what they're calling it, and it's the uh, the fight of the body punchers. You know what I mean? The, the big body hitters, basically. <laughs> like, these, both of them are great body punchers. Both of them can come forward. Both of them can scrap. Both of them can fight like dogs. And and like uh, EJ said, the fight's going to start off as start off boxing. The fight is going to start off as both of them boxing each other. But it's going to end. It's going to end like a fight. Like they're going to be in a dog fight. And I just know it. And he's he's a hundred percent right in saying that. Like I I see that happening. I see the first round. You know, um, Lamont always like filling his opponent out in the first round. Um, and you already know uh, Earl Spence never never takes a timeout during the fight. Maybe for about 20 seconds, 20, 30 seconds. And then here comes the barrage of punches once again. So, um, and I think the first the first round for Earl Spence is going to be a lot of jabbing and seeing where he can put some angles and whatnot. But it's going to be a chess match, I think, for the first three rounds. They're, both, they're still going to be filling each other out for the first three rounds and seeing what they can and cannot do. And then it's going to turn into a fight fast. Like, I don't think they're going to waste any time in doing that. It's going to turn into a dog fight fast. After the presser, Spence was asked um, a few more questions. And when asked about Keith Thurman, he said that he isn't going to wait on him like he's Floyd Mayweather or something. <laughs> Basically, I'm not, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, I'm not quoting right now. But the, he basically said he's not going to wait for him like he's Floyd and he doesn't really care that he has to wait until 2019 to fight him because the fight is going to happen. And he he um isn't he said uh Keith Thurman isn't a cash cow 
uh, basically. So um, he's not that special, in, in my own words. That's basically what he's saying. He's not that special. And I agree with that. You know, it's, I mean, because when you really think about it, it's kind of like Keith is eating this shit up. Keith Thurman is eating this shit up. This is what he wanted. He really wanted pe he wanted to be on top of people to call him out like he's Floyd Mayweather, but he's not Floyd Mayweather, and he's not going to fool Earl Spence Jr. to make him think he's fool he's Floyd Mayweather. You're, you're not going to get treated the same. You haven't fought nobody as good as the people that Floyd fought. You haven't had as many titles. You haven't been in the game. You have not put your mark on the sport the way he has, so you should not be treated like you're Floyd. You're not... You're not him, right? And I, I'm glad he's not gonna uh, act like this is killing him, that he's not gonna get the fight in 2018. But he's the one. I mean, honestly, every time somebody ducks Spence, is is making his legacy a lot better. Like this is the guy. I mean, that's that's guys back in the day that everybody ducked. Not every single body, but you know, there was there was fighters like Earl Spence that nobody wanted to fight. You know, and now there's there. I mean, and now Earl Spence is up in the rankings. He has a tie. He has a belt. People need to stop acting like he's a prospect. 2011 is over. 2014, 2015 is done. It's about to be 2018, and the man has fought and beat Kell Brook, somebody that a lot of a lot of welterweights cannot beat. If you ask me. Y'all, they would lose against Cal Brook. Gar Garcia would lose against Cal Brook. You already seen Sean Porter lose against Cal Brook. I don't think Keith Thurman would probably beat Cal Brook. I don't see that happening. But Earl Spence went in there and made him quit in front of his hometown. What they kept saying, uh, 20,000 fans, 70,000, whatever, all of them fans. He quit in front of all of them. So it is what it is. And he only had, what, three, four, four minutes, four minutes and a half, five minutes to fight left? But... Um, big ups to Lamont Peterson for being a true fighter and not getting um, intimidated of the big, hungry, pit bull Earl Spence Jr. And actually taking this dog fight. And I want to say that I hope Lamont Peterson um, is in this fight 100%. I hope his head is ready. I hope he's he's is 100% prepared for this fight because I would like to see Earl Spence at his greatest. I would like to see him to see him fight the best and um I'm just glad that he didn't get his chance, he didn't get his belts the way Keith Thurman did and a lot of other people that people say is better than Keith Thurman, better than Earl Spence. He got his fight actually he got his belt actually fighting a tough opponent in a different country for the first time okay he didn't get his belt from a vacant a vacant belt that he fought somebody that was ranked number six or number seven or number eight or number nine to get his title he got his title the hard way he came up in the rankings and fought some very good fighters and uh chris um out Al algeria and um van horn he fought Bundu. You know, he's he's fought good fighters. You can't really say that all of them are scrubs. But um, I also want to say before I get up off here that uh, I hope Lamont Peterson is going to cut off that six inches of cushion around his chin. Always like and subscribe to the channel. Peace.